All right, guys, got a 15 ton train unit, has a leak. Going to do a nitrogen test. Circuit one, they said the leak is in circuit two, so you connect your gauges to the liquid side and the vapor side. Nitrogen's connected. So we're going to see if we can find the leak by using the nitrogen. So open this up. Add the refrigerant in. Once you add the refrigerant in, then you gotta use your eyes and your ears and probably some bubbles to then look for the, uh, the actual leak. So I got the evaporator cool open up too, but let's see what we find. All right, I had the nitrogen sitting at a little over 250 PSI and, and it didn't take much long, but I could start to hear it, feel it with, so let me see if I can show you with the bubbles here. Yeah, right there coming off the discharge line on this bin there's there's the leak and for this repair guys we're not just going to solder that up we're actually going to cut and cut and actually put a brand new elbow so before we do that make sure you remove this uh, high pressure switch that way there's no chance when you're soldering that you do damage to it and make sure you use two wrenches one here one here to loosen it up that way it's just properly removed and then we'll uh Cut this out and then add in the new pieces. All right, guys, as you can see here, uh, added elbow, some couplings, and just cut some straight pipe to fit it. So we're going to solder this in. And also, also going to do this dryer as well. Whenever you do any type of uh, you know, repair like this, make sure you do change out your dryer as well. So we're gonna place, we're gonna place that. All right, guys, I got everything sized and fitted. The next part before I begin soldering is to actually remove all these fittings and clean it up with sandpaper and a deburr. Uh, that is a simple, but very important step. So we're gonna go through and clean all these fittings to make sure they're clean. So that way that the soldering is um, gonna have the best, it's gonna have the best results. All right, guys, I got everything cleaned up. And make sure on these dryers, you follow the direction of the, the way it's it's flowing. You can obviously see it based on circuit one. I know it's going that way, but in an air conditioning uh, mode, you want the refrigerant's gonna go from your outdoor condenser to through the dryer to the um, evaporator coil. So make sure you put the dryer in the correct way. You don't want it unless it's a bi-flow dryer. All right, guys, I got the nitrogen set to braise. Nitrogen goes from the tank through the red hose, through here, it's going through all those fittings, through the dryer, coming right back out, this blue side, right through here. So now we begin the soldering right, process. Guys, I finished with the solder. Next is the nitrogen test. Got it set at around two, right under 220, 225. But uh, we got everything soldered in. I'm gonna do a bubble test, make sure it holds uh, the nitrogen for at least 15 minutes. All right, guys, we're pulling a vacuum. We're at under 700 microns. We're pulling through the vapor side, measuring at the discharge side. Um, a little tip, make sure your fittings are tight, and you can even shut this valve off as like a little pretest to see if it shoots up. If it shoots up really high, then you know it's probably a problem, but you don't see nothing there, so we're gonna shut it off, let it drop, and then we're gonna add in the refrigerant, 12 pounds. And before we add in the refrigerant, we're gonna, I'm gonna shut this off. I'm gonna add a little bit of a refrigerant right here to create a positive pressure before I put my uh, uh, straighter valve in. That way I know we're in a positive pressure. Once I do that, then we're gonna go through the liquid line and add the uh, 12 pounds right there. All right, guys, I'm done pulling vacuum. I got a hose with a little bit of shut off valve. Make sure you purge the line first close it and then you connect uh, through where you were just pulling your vacuum and you just add in a little bit of refrigerant oh you open this back up you'll see your micron gauge shoot up you don't want to go too heavy to damage the micron gauge but you just want to send and create a positive pressure before you put your uh, straighter valve in all right 
Now I'm gonna put this back in, push it, tighten this on. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. So I'm gonna push and open that up. Push, open, you squeeze and keep constant pressure. Keep it constant and then you'll feel it tight. And the reason why you want to add a positive pressure, that way if you do this wrong, you don't have to start a vacuum over. So it's just a safety precaution uh, in regards to uh, just not wasting any time. All right, guys, now we're gonna add in the refrigerant through the uh, liquid line. Just make sure you do it on the right liquid line, not the wrong one. So we're going through the dryer we just replaced. We're gonna open everything up. We're gonna add in as much as we can. That'll take until we get to the 12 pounds. All right, guys, we got about seven pounds and it started to slow down. So now we remove Removed it from the uh, liquid line and we connect our gauges as normal. And now we're gonna cycle the unit on and then we're just gonna add through the vapor line. We're gonna uh, meet it and do the rest of the about five, five pounds that way. All right guys, we cycled it on. Uh, both circuits are one and one and two. As you can see, um, well it's adjusting, it is a little bit low. We gotta get to 12 pounds, so I'm just gonna meter it in little by little through the uh, vapor side right here. All right guys, we added in the factory charge. There's actually 11 pounds, not 12, I'm sorry about that, but 11 pounds. Uh, this is circuit two, by the way. Both circuits are running. So, uh, we're gonna let, the, let it run for a little bit, but this is another successful job. Thanks for watching. See you next one.